association with Meghan Markle to blame for this breakdown in relationships between Prince William and a once very, very good and close friend. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. As ever, lovely to have your company today and thank you so much for joining me. Yes, I know, I know I keep saying this, we've still got the lurgy, it's still not looking good, is it? But we battle on, we keep battling on. We're all doing it, aren't we? Yes, you, I can see you're doing it, yes. And <laughs> wouldn't it be dreadful though, seriously, if people could see you the first thing when you get up, oh, bad enough that your mirror's got to go through with it, wouldn't it, real people? Oh no, terrible, terrible. Interesting though, isn't it, that we, uh, as I say, this world that we live in, we live in a digital world, don't we? And everybody really is filming everything all the time, wherever you go. And, um, you know, somebody mistook me the other day, and don't, get, don't take this on board, somebody mistook me the other day for the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson. Not sure if that's a good look or a bad look, in fact, <laughs> during the current climate. Back as ever though to your break and roll story of the day. This particular story really all centres upon the fact that Prince William is soon to be celebrated with a spectacular summer party, his 40th. Yes, we know that Prince William wasn't too thrilled about hitting the big 4-0. Don't know what he's worried about myself, you know. I'm a little bit too, um, well, I'm not there yet. Of course, <laughs> please. I know you do wonder, don't you? you know? But it, uh, for 40, of course, for Prince William, for many of us, he's always going to be that teenager, isn't he? I think he's stuck in our minds of a perennially young looking person. And I think he looks fabulous, in fact, for 40, you know? That's what a stressful life does for you, you see? Yes. And we saw him at Wimbledon, didn't we, this week, looking absolutely marvellous. Next to, of course, his stunningly beautiful wife. Catherine, uh, they're big, big tennis fans, you know, and obviously they're gearing up, as I say, to have this double celebration of their 40th birthday. And it's proving a bit of a tricky manoeuvre, really, because when you think about it, who do you invite, who don't you invite? We already told you there's a, a sort of a, a difficult bit between inviting, of course, his younger brother, Prince Harry, uh, and then, uh, more importantly, Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle. That would only really create a bit of tension, wouldn't it, in the room? But what about long-standing old friends, you know? Now, one of them uh, really was a big, big friend of both princes. We're talking of the ITV newsreader, Tom Bradbury. And uh, what's interesting, I think, with him, he fell out of favour, all thanks to uh, giving an interview with Meghan Markle on that ill-fated uh, South African tour. If you remember, that's the infamous tour where she said she wasn't, uh, uh, you know, thriving or surviving the usual guff, you know. I think what was interesting with that as well, as we told you, that was all rehearsed. It wasn't off-the-cuff questions. She knew exactly what was coming and he knew exactly her response was going to be. So again, that really didn't play down very well with His Royal Highness Prince William and they very swiftly fell out. Now as we also told you on the show a, a few months back now, Catherine did try and cement that friendship back and um, you know it seems really sad when you think because they had been close for many years. Uh, he did if you remember the very famous engagement interview so you know you can just see how close they were. But for now it's proving to be still a very sticky and thorny topic for Prince William because as we're telling you right now, it looks like Tom and his wife will not be receiving a reconciliation kiss and makeup invite to said party. I think this is based on, and as ever we have to say allegedly, the fact that, you know, Tom really decided to take sides and go on the side of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Now, it's tricky for him on a serious note because he works for a major channel, ITV, and they will want to keep in with Harry and Meghan. For some inexplicable reason, they see them as ratings winners. But we do know also that Prince William and Catherine have softened their allure towards the commercial channel because, as we know, they presented Catherine's Christmas Spectacular from Westminster Abbey at the end of last year. So it's not all bad news for the channel, but moving forward, it seemingly, well, seemingly still seems to be sticking for Prince William to invite his one-time close pal, Tom Bradbury, who basically he fell out with, all thanks to that now infamous interview with Meghan Markle. Seemingly once again, something suddenly went wrong big time. As ever, if this changes, I will let you know. And as we often say, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.